Welcome back, everyone. In today's episode, we're going to dive into a powerful concept called generators. While Golang doesn't natively support generators like Python, we can still emulate them using channels and Go routines. Let's explore how. What is a generator? So what exactly is a generator? In many programming languages, a generator is a special type of function that allows you to iterate over a sequence of values, one at a time, without storing them all in memory. Think of it like a function that yields values as needed. This can be really useful for managing memory, especially when dealing with large data sets. Let's begin by implementing this pattern in Python. Python provides native support for generators, which makes creating and using them very straightforward. Let's start with a simple generator that produces prime numbers, one at a time. Here is prime method checks if a number is prime. This is the generator function. It starts from 2 and checks each subsequent number to see if it is prime. If it is, the generator yields it and moves to the next number. Here we create an instance of prime generator method. Then we loop over 10 times using range. The next function gets the next prime number from the generator. So this loop prints the first 10 prime numbers. Let's run it. And here it prints prime numbers. In Go we don't have native support for yield, but we can simulate this behavior using a combination of channels and Go routines. Channels allow us to pass values from one part of the program to another, while goroutines enable concurrent execution. Together, they give us a generator-like mechanism. Let's see how we can create a prime number generator in Go. I'm going to paste some code here. This function next prime finds the next prime number greater than n. Here's prime is a helper function that checks if a given number is prime. It returns true or false. Now we are going to implement the generator. It will generate prime numbers using a go routine and a channel. Let's call this prime generator. This function takes two arguments. Done channel. It is used to signal when to stop the generator. The next argument is a function that would calculate the next prime number. Let's name it operation. The function signature would be this. Let's copy it. This makes this function generic as we can plug in any operation here. It returns a channel of integers where the generated prime numbers will be sent. Here, we create a channel. This channel will be used to send prime numbers from the goroutine to the main function. Next, we start a goroutine. Here, the goroutine will run concurrently to generate prime numbers and send them to the ch channel. This statement ensures that the channel ch is closed when the goroutine exits. The initial value is set to 1. This will be passed to the operation function to get the first prime number. Now, we start an infinite loop, which will continue generating prime numbers until a stop signal is received. Let's call the operation function, which in this case is next prime. It is called with the current value of num. It returns the next prime number, which is then assigned back to num. Here we will use the select statement to choose between multiple send-receive operations on channels. It will block until one of the channels is ready for communication. This case checks if there is a message received from the done channel. If there is, it means that the generator should stop. Let's add a print here. We should return from here to exit the Go routine. In the other case, we should pass the prime number to CH channel.
we should be returning the CH channel. This channel will be used to receive the generated prime numbers in the main function. Let's implement the main function. We begin by creating the done channel, which will be used to signal the generator to stop. Let's create a variable to count the number of prime numbers received. Start a loop that receives values from prime generator using the range keyword. It will receive values from the channel until the channel is closed. Increment the counter i by one for each received prime number. Print the current count and the prime number received from the generator. If the counter reaches 10, the loop is terminated using the break statement. This means we have received 10 prime numbers and we don't want to receive any more. Once we break out of the loop, we signal the done channel. This makes the generator stop by breaking the infinite loop in the prime generator function. Let's run this code. Here are the 10 prime numbers generated by the generator. The done channel was signaled here that stops the generator. And that's it for generators in Go. While Go doesn't have built-in support for generators, channels and Go routines, give us a flexible way to simulate them. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Let me know in the comments what other Go topics you'd like me to cover next.